Uh, Severian787 asks, Hi Josh, do you know if there's a way to wire up an ExpressLRS receiver using SBUS so I could use the connector for the receiver on my Darwin 129 rather than soldering it to the flight controller the regular way? Yes, well, so there are two answers to the question that you're asking. Let's go into ExpressLRS Configurator and I'm going to pick a, a receiver. Happy Model 2.4 gigahertz. And I'm going to pick the receiver. Okay. So in ExpressLRS Configurator, if you enable the option Receiver Invert TX, what that's going to do is it is going to cause the receiver to output inverted crossfire. And what that's going to let you do is wire the receiver's TX to the S bus pad on your flight controller, and it will work. The receiver is not outputting S bus. It is outputting crossfire, but it's outputting inverted crossfire, which is that's what's special about the S bus pad on your flight controller is as an inverter. So what you will do is you will flash your receiver with this option enabled. Then you will wire the receiver TX to the S bus pad on your flight controller, and then you will set the flight controller to use crossfire, not S bus, and it will work. Yay. Coming in the future, ExpressLRS will have the ability, someone's working on it now, but I don't think it's done. It will have the ability to output SBUS, but don't do that. Use Crossfire unless you just absolutely have a flight controller or something that cannot take Crossfire. Mm -hmm. All right. Brandon RC says SBUS output is on master. I just tested it. It's not in release yet though, right, Brandon? Is it's not it's is it actually in release? Version 3.3 starting RC later this month. Yeah, okay, so it's not out for RC yet, according to Captain Bry. Mm-hmm. 